Aloha, day 16, kiss my asana. It's a rainy day here and the chickens have decided to hang out with me because there's a roof overhead. So that has inspired me to share with you some cervical mobility movements because chickens are always moving their necks back and forth. Right? They don't have uh, the arms to swing, so instead they move their neck as a reaction to walking, as part of their walking stance. So for us humans, many of us don't have great neck mobility and having neck mobility I think is a good thing. So here's a couple ways to practice and I actually call this one doing a chicken, which is to first find a stance. You can do the sitting, standing, I'm actually kneeling. Getting a sense of grounding down to lift up. So you get a nice long spine first and then Take one hand onto your sternum. So we want to keep the sternum steady and reach your head forward. Maybe it looks a little silly. My head looks really big now. And then draw it back. See how many chins you can make. Again, you reach your head forward and draw it back. Feel the length at the back of the neck. Nice long spine as you go. Again, forward and back. Forward and back. The, both are really important. You may find one is easier for you than the other. Now for the advanced version. I don't see chickens doing this very often when they walk because they're generally facing forward. But for us to help build neck mobility, if you actually do the same thing with your head turned, it can um, open up places that are often stuck. I find this a really great thing to do if I've been at the computer for too long. So what you do is you turn your head one direction now, you don't take your head in the direction you're looking, still take it forward relative to the shoulders. So by that I mean is I'm going to look in the direction my chin is pointing, but I'm going to take my head in the direction of my parallel shoulders. It's a little challenging to keep the shoulders forward and then bring the head back. Again, take your head forward and back, forward and back and then come to center and then the other side. Turn your head and again forward and back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and then come back to center and find your inner chicken. Just going forward and back straight on. It's a little easier. All right, so me, the chickens, all of us, we are here today to experience day 16. Kiss my asana. Thank you for watching. Aloha.